Like a Kansas City civil rights leader assassinated 50 years ago this week is still influencing today's push for social justice and equality. Now a new documentary is highlighting the life of Leon Jordan. 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom talked with people who knew Jordan and watched him gain political clout for Kansas City's black community. There's no question, longtime Kansas City residents who lived through segregation consider Leon Jordan a civil rights champion. But thousands of teenagers and young adults and up and coming civil rights advocates are hearing Jordan's story for the first time in a new documentary about his life. It is a history lesson impacting Kansas City's future. New voices are crying out for justice in Kansas City. Justice Tyrone Horn is one of them. Grew up in Independence, Blue Springs, Green Valley, all over. Now lived in Kansas City. And he's front and center of the Black Lives Movement in Kansas City, demanding policing policy changes so black lives are spared and pleading for black people to get involved in the political process. If you rewind Kansas City's history to the 1950s and 60s, Leon Jordan was leading the battle cry to end segregation and establish fair housing laws. Jordan is one of the first African-American police officers in Kansas City. He rose to the rank of lieutenant. He started the political organization Freedom Inc. and was elected to the Missouri House of Representatives, serving three terms. 22-year-old Justice Horn said he was familiar with Leon Jordan's name but didn't know Jordan's story. So I asked him to watch this documentary produced and directed by Kansas City's own Emil Cleaver called Legacy of Leadership. What is your first reaction? My first reaction would just be, I would say speechless. I was speechless at the very beginning. Just that not only that one man, uh, not only brought up the African-American community, but that he was ultimately gunned down and shot because of that. The East Patrol Kansas City Police Station is named in Leon Jordan's honor, and there's a statue of him at 31st and Benton. Mayor Quentin Lucas, one of Kansas City's youngest mayors, studied black history and knows all about Jordan's strategies and successes. And I know sometimes when I'm at City Hall today, I feel like, wow, things are challenging. But, you know, I wasn't living in a time where we were really trying to get people even an opportunity to vote. We were trying to get people an opportunity to live fairly, to work fairly. They didn't know success was an option. They couldn't look across a line or in another city and see, oh, that's the model. Instead, they had to fight. And I think we need to learn that and need to learn how much work it is. It's incremental, right? But one small incremental step can change the world. This UMKC senior and past UMKC student president is on the path to a career in politics and public service. And he told me Leon Jordan's struggle and sacrifice is now a source of pride for him as he pursues his purpose. It showed me that this movement not only supersedes any one organ organization but also supersedes any one individual. It's just a group of people getting them together and helping them to change their own community. Drawing strength for today's battle from the legacy of past courageous leaders. Now, 41 Action News is airing the documentary Legacy of Leadership. You can watch it absolutely free tonight on your KSHB Facebook page. I'll be hosting the live premiere with special guests giving us perspectives on the civil rights movement in Kansas City 50 years ago and how it could impact the movement happening right now. So join us on our KSHB Facebook page coming up tonight at 8 o'clock. I'm Cynthia Newsom. 41 Action News, back to you.